studies show that uh, we use a whopping 129 billion with a B face masks each month as a way to protect ourselves during the pandemic. Medical guidance claims those masks work, but opponents question the ability of a mask to limit COVID-19 transmission. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark? Candace and Nick, can you believe we use all those masks worldwide? Some people claim those masks still allow viruses like COVID-19 to pass through the fabric and even collect viruses and bacteria. I spoke with a local infectious disease expert for his take. Face masks have become a way of life throughout the pandemic. Mandates to wear them are commonplace, including in the workplace, schools and businesses. But are masks a legitimate means to protect you from viruses like COVID-19? It's a good question. Guy Singer, director of infectious diseases, Dr. Stan Martin, tells me he was a little skeptical at first if masks would be effective in public spaces. But since the start of the pandemic, many studies made the same conclusion on just how helpful those masks can be. When you wear a mask in the indoor setting, you will reduce your chances of getting infected and you will reduce the spread of the infection to others. And that is a fact, period. N95 masks are considered the gold standard, but even those blue surgical masks provide added protection from COVID, according to the CDC. What about the claim masks cause the user to rebreathe carbon dioxide? They do not cause any medical problems for people. They do not raise the CO2 levels in your blood. And you can go to OSHA and you can see the recommendations and guidelines on this and they will tell you that they are in fact perfectly safe. Another myth Dr. Martin believes deserves debunking is that young children too and older should not wear masks. For most activities, you, wearing a mask isn't a problem. I mean, being in school, being in a classroom, doing normal school activities, uh, a mask is not a barrier to learning, it is not a barrier to being a good student. Dr. Martin acknowledges the frustration of dealing with the pandemic, but urges everyone to take precautions, including wearing masks. We have to deal with this, and we know how to deal with it, the vaccine and masks. And if we do that, we will eventually get this under control. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Masks are not recommended for children less than two because they have smaller airways. And Dr. Martin points out the risk of infection is significantly less if you choose to not wear a mask doing outdoor activities while not in a crowd. With the help beat Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News.